All right, hello peoples. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how I replaced my fan switch, temperature coolant sensor, and my thermostat, all right? So basically my low radiator host after 20 years of service finally gave up on me. And then my radiator blew up. So I have to change both of those. And uh, while doing those, I decided to change all these three components of the cooling system, all right? So out of all three, although all of them are important, this is probably the most crucial one. All right, this is this sucker right here is an engine destroyer, okay? Um, if it gets really old, all right, it's gonna give up, all right? It's, it's gonna get brittle, especially these suckers right here. I don't know if I can show you. Look, it just basically just cracks out. See, see, look at that. And it's already open, see? Um, normally this thing sh stays shut, and then when the coolant gets a little hotter, I think it tells you the degrees yeah right there 78 yeah when it gets to that temperature uh this thing will open up and then coolant will go into your engine and then back to the radiator the radiator cools it and same cycle blah 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 blah. but anyways if this thing stays shut there's no coolant getting in your engine and uh basically you start overheating and if you don't catch it right away uh, it, it basically can just, just destroy your engine and it's game over man so just change the sucker, man. If you haven't done it, just do it. Especially if you're changing your coolant, your hoses, radiator, just change the sucker. All right? And don't be cheap. Buy the original one. All right? <laughs> all right? I think it's like 30 bucks or something. All right? With that said, uh, let me show you guys how I did it. All right? Here we go. Just open the radiator cap. Make sure it's not hot. Make sure your engine is cool. Okay? If you, you want to do this. All right? And then uh, let the coolant drain. And then we'll just let it drain. All right, next, just uh, disconnect the negative terminal. I'm gonna remove the tank. Okay. Tank the towel ready. Just in case. Just remove it. At this time, just drain all that sucker out. Um, and then clean the tank, man. Just remove all the electrical connectors. This one right here for this fan. Press it towards you, and let's just slide out. Once it's out, now you have easy access to this connector. All right, just press on this tab right here. Next, this fan right here, there's an electrical clip right here, or a connector. Uh, press that tab as well, remove that. And then there's also one in the bottom, which is uh, right here. You have to remove this as well. All right, so for this connector in the bottom, um, this is also connected from the fan, but it also goes to the AC compressor. All right, there's also a bracket here. And the bottom of the bracket right here there's a, a little clip there you want to push that away from the fan okay and it should come off okay but before that you have to remove this electrical connector so just press the tab over here and just pull it once you do that it just comes off okay there's a little clip in the back of this and then push it down once you push it down it just comes off like that here's another uh, look of this connector that comes from the uh, AC uh, compressor. Press this uh, tab down and then pull it, pull it away from the, the fan going down like that. And uh, you should be able to remove this sucker, okay? Easily. All right, so with that bolt removed, just pop the sucker up, it goes like that. Switch this to the opposite way. All right, so it doesn't bother anything later on. It bends over, okay? Make sure that's there. Now we can remove the 210 mill bolts right here. All right, and with that removed, you can just, uh, it should just pop up. Okay, and just lift it up slowly so you don't hit the radiator. Okay, you gotta move this tube out of the way. So with the fan out of the way, now we have more room and you have more access to the other stuff like that bolt over here down below. Okay, that bolt right there, down right there. Take that one off, okay? Take the one in the other side off as well. Once those two are removed, take the one up top, man. This one right here, and on this one, okay? All right, so I got all the three 10 mil bolts, two from the bottom and one up top right here, all off. The last one, be careful, this one. This one has a bracket, so don't forget to put back the bracket. Just like that, it looks like that, okay? All right, when you're putting it back on later. 
okay? All right, while the fan is loose, we're gonna remove this tube right here, okay? We're gonna bend that out the way, and then we could uh, remove the fan pretty easy. All right, once you remove the clip, or whatever you got, I have this one, because I like this one better than the other one. The other one's kind of hard to take out sometimes. Um, if this thing is stuck right here, I mean, I'm reusing my old tube, but if you're not, you can just pretty much get a flathead and uh, squeeze that thing in there until it loosens up. But I don't want to do that with mine since I'm going to reuse it. So I'm just going to wiggle it. Wiggle that enough. Like it should just come out. All right, there it is. Okay, cool, man. So once that's out, now we could uh, remove the fan. There you go. Oh. All right, it looks like the coolant's done draining, so we're just gonna plug it back up. Two fans both gone. Now we can remove the tubes, the three tubes down below, and the bracket. So remove this tube right here, that one, the bracket. There's a 10 mil underneath there. Uh, let's go to this side. The uh, big hose and that hose right there, okay? Phillips for that one, at least for me, you guys might have this little clamp right here. Just use a needle nose. See that uh, right there, that clamp. Needle nose pliers, should remove that. And then slide those tubes out. Okay. All right, just be careful when you remove this hose right here. The one that connects over here to the radiator. Um, just make sure you got your catch band down below or some rags over there if you don't want a lot of mess. All right. See how mine is catching it right now? That's how you want it. If they're stuck, what you want to do is just uh, just twist it from left to right, man. Okay, until it's loose, and you can just move it that way. See how I'm twisting it? Just like that, man. And it should just come out. It's a long tube, man. This Denzel one's pretty long, man. You just keep twisting it until it's out, okay? See, it's gonna be cooling again, man. Make sure you got a rag in there below, which I don't have. For the big tube, all right, just wanna move, wiggle it from side to side, man. It tends to be hard, hardcore stuck in there, man. But eventually, as you wiggle it side to side, it'll come out and then you can start twisting it. There you go. Once you can start twisting that thing, it'll just come out. There it is. Watch for coolant if it has coolant. Yep. Mine's pretty much drained now. All right, so with all those tubes removed and a bracket in there is removed, we can now work on the top two bolts, top of the radiator, okay? This one, I'll take this out. Out. One's off. Okay, you can take this bracket out. Okay. Don't forget about these brackets right here. Okay. Now you can just lift up the radiator. Be careful when you're lifting on. Make sure if you're gonna reuse the radiator, which. I am because this is brand new. This is Denzo. Okay, you just you're gonna remove it, just lift it up, and you're gonna push this thing right here. This tube. And if your radiator is old and you're replacing it is broken, then what the heck man, just smack every day. <laughs> And uh, that's how you remove a radiator, man. All right, guys, at this point, if you're just replacing your radiator, now go ahead and put the new radiator back on, plug everything back in, put some coolant in there, bleed it out, and, and fire it up, you're good to go. But me, I'm just gonna reinstall this, the one that I have, but it's still pretty brand new. Uh, I see it's pretty clean, and what I did was uh, it's a little, insects and bugs and stuff in there i just uh vacuumed it you know vacuumed the hell out of it and it came out it turns out pretty clean you can see where all the most of the dirt's at it's in that area right there all right 
All right, so I'm gonna put this sucker back on. When you're putting the radiator back on, just make sure you sit it on these two points right here. This one right here, my finger, and this one. All right. All right, so putting the sucker back on, just be careful. Don't let it, try not to hit these uh, little small metal tubes. Just gonna let it sit there. There you go. All right, so if you're replacing this hose right here, you go ahead and remove it for now. So it doesn't bother you later on when we take down the lower hose. And uh, this piece right here, you can remove this as well and put it in the new radiator. Uh, I just left it here because um, I'm reusing the old one. These brackets back on. There you go. Put back our two bolts. All right, at this point, you could also plug back the hoses. This one right here. Don't forget about the clamp, okay? All right. And uh, this one right here, you can reinstall this back as well. Uh, I put mine back on the lower hose, um, just because I'm gonna reuse the hose. But if you're replacing it, just leave it off. So when we come to the thermostat housing later on, we can remove that and remove the, the old hose and install the new one back on. All right, don't forget about this bracket right here as well, okay? The 10 mil bolt, a bolt right there for that bracket. Now we're uh, pretty much done with this side for now, okay? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the air box, the air intake, all right? So remove the map sensor, just press this clip right here and pull on it. Just wiggle it, make sure it come off. All right, that's out. All right, remove the two 10 mil bolts right here. One, two. All right, once the air intake is separated from the air box, see this bolt right here? Um, that's actually, uh, you're just going to pop this thing up. There you go. And then you can remove the whole thing once it's up. Okay. I then remove the air filter or cover just to have a little room. Box removed. Now we can get this air intake. Okay. Uh, pop this clip right here, man. Move this map sensor wire out the way first. Okay. Then you want to take this clamp off. Uh, pretty much all you need to do is uh, remove that. Uh, it's just a, a Phillips screwdriver. All right, loosen that up, this clamp, and then just pull the sucker out. It should come off, okay? Remember, remove the clamp, and then the Phillips screw, loosen that up, and you're good to go. Off you go, boom. All right, so now we got access to the lower hose clamp. We're gonna loosen that up and then we'll remove that. This one right here, this is the lower hose and back there is connected to the thermostat housing. All right, we'll get to that later. And that's the fan, the fan uh, sensor right there. So let's go ahead and loosen this sucker up and remove it. Let's get a flathead. Or if you got a clamp, just remove the clamp. Once the clamp is uh, loose, just move that out of the way. And then uh, this heater hose right here, there's a plastic clamp over here. Just pop it up. Just pop that hose out of the way. There's gonna be a green clamp right here. Pop this up. All right. All right. If you're having a hard time removing this thing, I mean, if you got a hook tool, 
All right, just like this. Um, just wanna just slide it in there and, and loosen it up that way. See that? Slide it in there and then move it. Slide it in. Go to the side. Slide it in. Bottom. But if you're just replacing the hose, and just stick this whole thing in there and just pull this sucker, man. Pull this sucker in with one hand and pull it with your other hand, man. All right, should come out that way. But since I'm reusing the hose, I don't want to damage it, so I'm just gonna keep tugging on it, man. Tugging on it, tugging on it. Oh man, whoo, there you go. Ouch. All right, with the hose off, now we can remove the ground. We're gonna remove the ground right here from the thermostat housing and uh, unclip the fan fan plug right here. Press down and then wiggle it. Oh man, almost there. There it is. Wiggle it. It should come off, okay? That's off. We don't remove the ground, all right? All right, so put that 10 millimeter bolt gone, okay? The ground's gone, unplugged. All right. Now you're gonna get 24 mil long socket, pretty big right now. And then we're gonna remove the fan switch. There it is. All right, got that rag to catch all the coolant, so we're good, man. All right. Yeah, let's take a look at the old one. This is the original one from the car, right? pretty old but it still works but the o-rings are pretty shot okay i just decided to replace it all right just because it's not that, that expensive this part right here okay this new one just seems like a little fatter <laughs> but uh it works man all right want my fans functioning properly when my engine is on i want those fans to turn on so this is the one that's uh that does the job all right the fan switch still out we can now work on removing the housing, the thermostat housing. There's going to be two 10 mil bolts, one down here, my finger is at, and the other one up top over here, okay? Remove those two, and then we'll have access to the thermostat. There you go. That's off. I just use uh, two small wrenches and put them together. Got this one loose as well. Okay. Good. All right. Now that we got both bolts loose, we can just pull the sucker out, man. Okay. Slowly though. All right. You don't want to damage anything like the thermostat or anything like that. Okay. Remove it. And now we can just uh, pull the thermos. There you go, it's out. Let's see. Get a different angle here. There she is. Let's take a look at the old thermostat. It looks like it's pretty warmed out, man. Oh, no. See? It's actually open. Everything's all cracked up. All right, this is the old one, and this is the new one. All right. Looks pretty good, man. All right. So I'm glad I'm changing this one, man. You don't want a bad thermostat in your car, man. Like, all right, to check that, um, when the engine is hot, right, and uh, touch the bottom radiator hose, and it, if it's cold, and it's probably stuck close, okay? You're gonna have overheating issues, man, if that happens. If it's stuck open, let's say in the morning when you wake up, start up the car, and it takes forever to heat up, and then um, chances are it's it's stuck open, and you don't wanna drive that thing around because you're gonna have bad fuel economy. So if it's uh, messed up, just replace it, man. Just buy a new one, man. 
Get an OEM one, man. The original one. Okay, like this one. Well, this one's supposed to be original as well, but this is kind of bigger. But it works. So I'll put it back on. All right, so when you're putting back this thermostat on, all right, all right, it's gonna be only one direction, man, okay? This part right here, the spring goes inside, okay? And you see this two uh, little uh, plastic uh, bumps, man? One's uh, 11 o'clock, the other one's one o'clock, all right? And then this middle part right here is gonna be 12 o'clock, okay? All right, so if you look at it this way, all right? If you look at the housing, see, see that? All right, you want, I can't focus really good. 12 o'clock right here, where my finger is at, okay? And then you want 11 o'clock and one o'clock over here. One of those two rubber parts, okay? On the seal. And uh, it should, fits perfectly in there, all right? There we go, man. Hey, okay. all right. Once you get in there properly, you 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 hear it, man. We'll just like snap in there, man. And see that it's not even falling off by itself, man. And you're good to go. Okay, housing. I put a little, just a little thin layer of Permatex on it. All right. And you gotta watch these things right here. See mine it's getting messed up. Might have holes in it, and uh, you know if it's too much. Like, you know, look, it's like a little rusted. It's gonna have to start putting holes in it and start leaking on you. All right. And now I'm gonna put this back on. Probably later on, I'll replace it again, man. I'm gonna change the cooling again. Let's tighten this thing snug, the fan switch, and you you can see that it just aligns up. It lines up with the connector, man. All right. That's perfect right there. Okay. All right. So with the uh, ground back on and the connector back on all, all this is back on we are gonna work on this guy right here okay this is the temperature coolant sensor okay it's connected to your engine let's see how to take this out there you go you want to hear want to hear that click and then wiggle it in around just slowly, all right? And then you can remove it. Okay. There it is. Not a lot of room in there, and you don't want to. You probably don't want to take off your distributor. Uh, well, you could just take this clip out right here to make more room. Just get a flathead, okay? And then just push it towards you. And then with your other hand, just uh, push it out, going this way, okay? and you should be able to remove this okay once it's uh removed then you'll have space you can put a ratchet in this way you put a ratchet over here and remove that sensor all right see how i have my ratchet in there uh by the way it's a 19 mil you're gonna have to use a long socket to remove that okay see my socket over there from this direction i could just uh press down on it and remove it Okay. all right once it's loose just uh take it out by hand and be careful with it all right so let's take a look at the old one it's my old one right here it's the original one and I bought a new one right here this one's a little shorter man and a little skinnier than the original one the original one's pretty fat and this one's a little short and skinny, but it fits in there and it works. So, all right, all right. So we'll plug it back in. We'll put uh, some thread sealant in it, just a little bit, and uh, or uh, Teflon tape if you have any. All right, and we'll plug it back in there, just snug. We don't want it too tightly, and we have to be careful putting this sucker back, man. We don't want this thing right here touching anything. All right sensor back in there um just did a snug all right don't over tighten that sucker man you don't want to mess with that thing 
and plug back the connector and then uh, that should be good to go all right if you're in installing a new hose the lower hose go ahead and install it okay plug that back in there on the housing and the thermostat and then to your radiator down below okay and then if you need to reinstall a new one let's go ahead and put it on your upper radiator hose okay all right guys don't forget about the bracket this connects to your heater hose right here uh just right there this one right here and the green bracket as well don't forget to attach that okay my ground is good our fan switch yeah it's back on that's tight all right our lower hose make sure that's tight good the brackets are back on okay brackets are back on so with all that back on um we're gonna install the intake now all right putting back the intake on so uh, wiped it down with uh, some ultimate black and look how this thing looks man looks pretty pretty good like it all right I'll squeeze that thing in there man sure this thing is on pushing that. there it is all right that's in perfect all right it's good Get this connector back Um, this clip, put it back in the bracket, just slide it in there. Alright, then you're good. Alright, so now we got that, we'll put the air box back on. Alright. There you go. Let me make sure that thing's on there first, on the bottom. Push this thing down, okay, until it's inside the grommet over here, and you're good, okay? I'll we'll just bolt this sucker in, man. I'll make sure this thing is aligned, though. All right. I'm just gonna twist that thing until it's aligned. And there we go. It's a line right there. It's perfect, man. I'm gonna go bolt it back in. I'm not gonna go crazy in this. I'm just gonna tighten it. Not much though. Just enough. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we got all this, the intake back on, we are going to install the fan back. Okay. All right. We're gonna start on the left side first. This way. All right. Be careful putting it back on. All right, make sure you don't hit the radiator, okay? Simply, you're just gonna press, okay? It's AC line. All right, so that's in there now. Now you could just slide it over here, down below. There you go, here's a closer look. go all right once that's in there just put the bolt back remember this one has a bracket so remember that so we're gonna start with this one first right here so so we'll have an uh, easy way on bolting the one in the bottom so when you put the bracket back shape like this it's gonna go down okay should fit right there snug okay and then put the bolt back in. I'm just going to tighten it by hand for now. I'm going to do it to both sides. Right here as well. And then I'm going to work in the bottom first. 
tighten those suckers up. All right, you don't want to, you don't need to over tighten these. Okay, just want to pretty snug. All right, now that's in. You can put back the hose now. This uh, upper upper hose. You can plug that back in. This thing slides on the other side. And plug this thing in. Just gonna force, just gonna push it in there all the way until you can't do it anymore. There you go. Now that's it in there. Now we can put back our clamp. There you go. And that's tight. Then we'll work down there. We can push this bracket back down. Okay? And um, put the bolt back as well. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna go down there and um, tighten up the bolts, man. All right, once you got the two bolts down there um, tightened up, don't forget the fan switch, I mean the fan connector. All right, I'll plug that sucker in. All right, once it snaps, you're good. Then put it back in the bracket, okay? slides in there and it snaps in. and you're good to go on this side pretty much done now we're just gonna move that side and install the last fan and we're pretty much done now. okay so for the last fan you're gonna want you're gonna want this point right here of the fan at this point to go down here see that box right there and you want it, want it to go sit on that Now we're gonna go inside. Try not to hit the radiator. Okay. All right, there we go, man. There we go. All right, so just put these uh, bolts back in, and we're good to go. All right, guys. So with the two fans back on, all right, just just double check all your bolts, all your clamps. All right, so make sure this bolt is on. This one right here, this one right here. Two bolts for the fan right here. This bolt right here, bolt. The connector is back on, okay? Uh, this clamp's back on. And uh, there's two connectors here. Make sure this connector is on. And this one right here in the back, okay? This one right here, all right? And uh, this wire as well, this is from the compressor, the AC compressor. Gotta make sure that it's uh, hooked up on this uh, fan. Okay. All right, don't forget about this heat shield. If you uninstalled it, just put it back on. Reinstall the ground. Make sure you tighten it up. All right, go ahead and install your reservoir tank right here, okay? And then next, uh, we're gonna put some coolant in it. Put some coolant in there as well and don't forget to bleed your system out all right it's very important to do that all right you don't want any air bubbles uh, trying to get out especially if you got some weak clamps over here or some other ones the old tubes yeah the clamps are weak the tension's gone um if you got any air bubbles up there man it's just gonna find its way through those to those weak uh clamps and it'll, it'll get out and you'll see leaks you don't want to do that all right so bleed the system out and you're pretty much good to go and uh, if you want to see how to bleed the system out of the coolant, I do have another video. You should watch that. And uh, again, if you have a CRV and uh, if you want to see more CRV videos, uh, please uh, boom, boom that subscribe button, man. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, peace, man.